All right, go ahead. What's to do, YouTube? We back with another video, bro. Y'all already know we about to get straight into this video, bro. It's a lot of questions y'all been asking me about this, so I might as well go ahead and make a video and say it for y'all. Y'all just tune into this video, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm about to break it down step by step on how I did it and how it worked out for me. Stay tuned. Get All right, so how you want to do it basically is to get any type of Dodge Charger RT, whether it's a Challenger or Charger. This is what I had to go through. I basically just made sure I had a good credit score. That's what you want to do. Get you a credit card after you have been on your job for so long. I got my credit card right after my 90 days and I got a, and I got approved for a loan. And they basically give you a credit card that you want to use for your bank. And you just make payments on it. You basically use it. You basically got like a limit, but you don't want to go over your 30% utilization limit. So once you do that, Swipe the card a few times. I use mine for gas and maybe some snacks or some other store, whatever you want to use it for. And at the end of the month, they're gonna give you a total of how much you owe, and you pay that back. And they basically trust you. They're like, okay, he made your payments on it. He, we trust him with our money. So that's all you have to really do. And then save your money and get a good down payment. So if you find a 20, like I did, I found a 2019 RT for 30,000. You put 5,000 down, you only owe the bank 20,000. And they're like, okay, he know how to use his credit. He managing his money, right? Okay, we trust him with a down payment, so do that first. And like I said, you don't have to have a good credit score. If you have a good parent or you might have a guardian or somebody that want to co-sign for you, an auntie, uncle or something, ask them. They might be able to co-sign for you. If they got a lot of trust built into you, they might want to co-sign for you. Um, luckily me, I didn't need a co-signer when I got mine, but that's something you want to maybe look into. But if I were y'all, I would try looking for a co-signer if need. So we got the credit part out of the way. Like I said, we was focused on the co-signing part. That's only if you don't have good credit. If you don't, if you're not patient enough to have credit, then like I said, go get a co-signer. But I was gonna move on to the third step. So we did the credit. Like I said, build that credit up. Make sure you got a good credit score going there with maybe a seven. I say if you're looking for one that's about twenty-five thousand below. You'll be cool with a 720 credit score. You can get approved for it. They trust you. You built it up high enough for your age. I mean, this is ages from 18 to 24. Even if you're a little older, you can try to do it. But I'm just doing this to make videos for the ages 18 to 24 because that's the age range I am. And that's the people that's asking for this video. So, with that being said, we did the credit. We did the um, co-signing. Let's move on to down payment. Down payment, I say at least if it's... 25,000 under, which is going to be likely the range because they have went up. They was about 20,000, maybe 17 to 20,000, but they went up to about 25,000 now because the market increased. I say save at least five to 7,000 down, then try to go in there with your dealer, you know, talk some stuff over, but make sure you don't get a limit. That's one thing you don't want to do. Don't rush it. Take your time and the process is going to come. You ain't got to worry about nothing. As long as you're doing what you're supposed to do as a man going to work every day, making sure you're going to pay that car note, they won't come take your car no matter what. So with that being said, going there with a good down payment, they're going to know you're talking business. They know you're ready. If you done saved up all that money, they know you're going to be working hard to keep that car. So like I said, man, before y'all just jump right into it, try to find you a good used or new. It could be new. It doesn't have to be used. Mine was used. But like I said, I'm in a Daytona now, brand new. But use that. Make your payments on that RT. Right after that, bro, take the shot and go get a scat. That's what I did. As soon as I got, as soon as I got done with my um, making payments on my uh, RT, jump right up in the scat. I built my credit score because they saw I was paying my note, paying my insurance. Like, okay, you built this credit up enough. Now we trust them with the scat. Go ahead, get that scat pack now. Now you, now you really, now you really doing some stuff because you got that all that power. You know, you feeling good. You got the loaded interior, all that. You ain't got to worry about none of that no more. So, like I said, just take your time, look, really pay attention to what you're looking for. When you go to look for one, one of those RTs, check and make sure ain't no oil leaking, make sure ain't no problems with it, because I'm letting you know, those payments every month, they they gon' they gonna cost. They gon' cost, like I said, I was paying about 400 a month for some change for mine, and like I said, with insurance too, that's about 800 a month, so 
and then with gas, oil changes and all that. So really make sure you look at one from bottom to top so you don't have to pay any money for maintenance. That's what I did. So yeah, man, just basically, like I said, credit score going to about a 720. If you don't have a 720, ask a parent or somebody to co-sign. And I'm pretty sure more than likely they gonna wanna do it for you because they see that you put in work to get that. And they know damn well you ain't about to uh, stop working because you gonna lose that car. So after that, after uh, after all that is done, like I said, going there with that down payment, they gonna know you talk business. You should be leaving out the dealership with that RT, man. Guaranteed. I'm, I'm letting y'all know this experience that I went through, how I got mine. I didn't need a co-signer because I had a good credit score. I was building early. I started in October, went and got approved for the car that next year in December. So it only took me a couple months. And I know if I did it, I know you can do it. So put your mind to it. Make sure y'all go get what y'all want because they about to stop making them. And when you get it, I promise you, bro, keep working. The grind don't stop. If you want to be a YouTuber, do it. Go ahead and do it. Just keep pushing out that content. I believe in you. I know you can do it because I did it. And y'all see where I'm at right now. Um, and I'm still doing good in life. So don't let that. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do it. Don't let nobody say, oh, you ain't going to be able to afford this. You ain't going to be able to afford that. If you're going to work and your checks is nice and you're pushing about maybe 2K a month, go get that RT, bro. It's all yours. All you got to do is find the right one. Get a good down payment. Like I said, going with a good credit score. Pay that car note every month. Use your uh, credit card to pay for gas for it, tires, brakes, anything. Pay that credit card back off at the end of the month. And well, along with that, paying off your credit score and then doing, like I said, paying your car note and insurance, your credit score will go through the roof, bro. Next day, you know, within like a next year or two, you will be able to go on a dealership. Oh, yeah, I want that uh, 392 up over there. Let me get that, bro. Guess what he gonna do? Up, you approve. We finna go ahead and move you over there to the uh, delivery area. Go ahead and take delivery of that. Go get you some car insurance. You, you good, bro. Just keep elevating. That's what I'm doing. So, I hope that motivates some of y'all. Like I said, I feel good letting y'all know my experience and how I did it. And I hope it reached out to some of y'all to put inside y'all mind of what y'all need to do. But I'm about to go ahead and go, man. I got things I gotta do. Appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all watch them ads. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video, man.